So now let's see a previous examination question asked in the CBSE examination 2005 based on the topic of independent events. So let's read the question. It has four parts. We'll solve them all one by one. A can hit a target four times in five shots. B can hit a target three times in four shots. C can hit two times in three shots. Calculate the probability that and then you have four cases. So this is a question regarding shooting. So it says there are three events or three persons A, B, C. They try hitting the target. So sometimes they are successful and sometimes they are not. That means sometimes they hit so they win but sometimes they are not able to hit so they lose. So we will be actually framing the probabilities first and then only we can solve. So if I write A has the probability 4 by 5 because 4 times in 5 shots it wins. So whenever I write probability of A that means it hits. Similarly whenever I will write probability of B it will be hits. But if I write probability of not A that means it loses, it is not able to hit. So that will be obtained by subtracting this from 1, right? Similarly, I will do the same for B and C. So what is the probability of B? What is the probability of C? B can hit 3 times in 4. B can not hit 1 time in 4 out of this case, right? And C can hit 2 times in 3. So probability of C is 2 over 3 but probability of not C is 1 over 3. Now you have these 3. Now you have to calculate the probability that the first part all may hit. So the first part I am writing here all may hit means probability of A intersection B intersection C all may hit. Now they are hitting or not hitting does not depend upon the other candidate. So it is a case of independent events individual probabilities you can multiply what is the probability of a it is 4 over 5 what is the probability of b it is 3 over 4 what is the probability of c it is 2 over 3 let's cancel whatever cancels so the answer to this part is 2 over 5 the first part all may hit simple now what is the second part we have to see now the second part I will say the question is still here. Let's separate the question. Now the second part is B part. And the B part is B and C may hit. So B and C are hitting. But A loses. So A loses means the complement of A. Now what we can do is probability of B. Multiply by probability of C. Multiply by probability of not A. What is probability of B and C in multiplication? 3 over 4 multiplied by 2 over 3. You can see from here. We have taken out the data already. What is the probability of not A? 1 upon 5. Again cancel whatever cancels. 1 by 10 is the answer to this question. Now the third part. The third part is probability of any 2 will hit. Any 2 will hit means what? A and B can hit, C will not. B and C can hit, A will not. Or C and A will hit, B will not. That means A and B hitting, C will not. Or probability A and C hitting, B will not. Or probability B and C hitting, A will not. So these are the possible cases. Now simply just put the values and solve. So this is 4 by 5 multiplied by 3 by 4. Multiply by probability of not C which is 1 by 3. Plus because or means plus and then putting all the values. So this you have to do on your own. This is a homework for you. The last part I am telling you the last part is none hits. So nobody will hit. So that is probability A complement, intersection B complement, intersection C complement. What should be the answer like? 1 by 5, multiply by 1 by 4, multiply by 1 by 3, which is 1 by 60. So out of these four parts, every part I have told you, the calculation is left up to you. And this is the logic. This part is very important. 
Out of these four parts, all were not asked in the CBSE examination 2005. The last two were asked and which is very important. 